Mr. Wanders, um, as a designer, you hopefully have also a sense to architecture, which is your favorite architect. I mean, uh, to, to, to get a favorite ar architect with so many brilliant minds around this uh, is difficult. I think uh, Frank Gehry has done an amazing job. Uh, I think he's doing amazing, uh, amazing uh, exteriors. I think Nouvelle is uh, high on my list of being uh, number one. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, I think Ram Kolaas is, is amazing. There's a lot of wonderful architects around, and uh, I, would, I would almost say there's, there's probably way more which I like. I'm not so very well known with architecture, but I would know the really cool new ones. And, um, but I'm sure you can good. tell me which city you like best, either from an architectural point or just from the atmosphere. Uh, Tokyo is one of my favorite cities, if not my favorite city. I think it's a, it's a, a wonderful city where you feel that uh, what is the, the potence of, uh, of love in architecture and love in design and a love of detail of everything. If there's one place on earth where everything is made with so much respect, and I think it is Tokyo, and you kind of feel it if you're in that city. You would? You would live there? I would, would like be, to live It would not be a city I would love to live. Uh, I think uh, the culture is so different and I think the, the, the culture is not so welcoming long term to, to visitors. I mean, the, the visitors are welcome, but I think uh, it's very difficult to be part of that culture. Um, you designed the interiors, the hotel interiors from the Ka Grand Kameha Bonn, the Grand Kameha Zurich, the Andas um, um, in Amsterdam. Um, what does a hotel room need to make you comfortable? Uh, it's, it's, to, to make a hotel room comfortable is really difficult. I, I remember having this conversation with a friend of mine who's a smart guy and he, he says to me, Oh yeah, but I know exactly. I've got nine rules for a good for a good hotel room, and then it's always perfect. Always perfect. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Maybe, maybe you can give it to me. So he gives his nine rules, and I'm like, my God, this guy is really right. This is amazing. This is so smart. And so I, I take my plane home, and uh, and I go over these lines, and then I'm thinking like, yeah, that's really great for me and for him also. But if his wife is traveling with him, then these rules suddenly don't work anymore. Because, you know, he wants one, one light and then everything's on and off. It's easy as that. But if your wife's in bed and you just want to step out for, you know, you want to dress up because you have to go early, then suddenly it doesn't work anymore. So the complexity of a, of a hotel room is, is tremendous. It, it, meaning there's so many different needs in a hotel room that you know, it's very hard to do a good job. I think uh, one of the things which uh, is, is difficult if you go to our issue, we are all innovators, we want to make new things, we want to find the coolest technology, uh, and, and of course also in hotels, but hotels are the worst places for innovation. I remember, this is a long time ago, that at some point there, there was a new kind of uh, exhaust for bathing tubs, so you just, on, in the bathing tub you just push, and it closes and it push and it's on. Uh, and even the water comes through that space, so there's not a, a separate tap. The water comes through the exhaust, which is amazing, and it's a wonderful technique. And so I built in one of the, uh, happily enough, there was one room, we did it, a uh, big tub with this uh, special system. And there has not been one client who didn't ask how to get the, the pool, the, the bath full of water. And, and you know, we, we also saw that nobody was able to get the water out of the tub. So, uh, and you, can, you, you don't explain it once to a pers person in, in their house, but you have to explain it to everybody who comes to that hotel. So, so innovation is something we all love, but hotels are not the place to do it. You have to be a bit old-fashioned. Um, what is the difference between, well, that's the fourth question, but <laughs> if I may, between um, designing a, a product um, and designing a whole interior? 
for a hotel, for uh, I'm, I'm trained product designer, um, and for years I, I was only doing that, and then at some point I felt, oh, I want to do bigger things, I like to see the whole space, and so I started doing interior design, thinking that it is kind of the same, but just bigger, and I found out it, it really is not. Uh, when I saw my first sketches, I felt that, you know, if, if this is the interior, if it works based on the same conceptual approach as my product, then that's not going to work. It's going to be too cold, too dead, too easy. Uh, and I started to understand what the difference is. If, if you make a product, it's, it's, like, it's like sculpting. You, you take your piece of marble, you start cutting away parts, until there is in that piece of marble, if everything is gone which you don't need, then there is this one perfect thing left over. That's, that's what you do with product design in a way. It's a very sharp representation of a concept. And the sharper the representation of the concept and the better the idea is, the, the better your product is. Now an interior, if you design it more like an opera or like, a, like a, a music, because uh, first there's the flutes, then there's the trombones, and there's a little sound, and then the choir comes up, and then boom, everything is silent, and they start again. And so it's an orchestration of so many things. Instead of having one thing which you try to isolate from all, all the rubbish uh, around it, it is basically uh, a, a collection of things in time. And so it is super different. And, and, and a great reason, therefore, to do it if it was the same, we would have less reason to, to like both. Uh, so it's a really different different aspect of design. So which one well, do you like more? If I would like if I would like uh, one more than the other, I would I would choose to do that. But I think it's wonderful to be able to do both and, and to learn from both. Of that. Because I start to see over, over time also that there's there's a lot to learn from this other approach uh, in interior design for product design and the other way around. So. Uh, I, I think it's wonderful to do both and, uh, and I will do that for the coming years. Thanks.